what to do when you become debt free what to do when you become debt free it's a big question right i mean we're our focus right now is we want to wipe out all our debts but there's way more to life than just paying off debt right so not only do we need to be focusing on short-term gains but we also want to be looking at how do i create wealth secure wealth leave a legacy behind for my family in my lifetime in this lifetime whether i'm 40 years old 50 years old 60 years old 70 i don't care how old you are if you're still in debt or we're approaching debt free okay it ain't over we still have more time to make sure that we've got everything in order okay that we have all our assets in line everything is i mean indestructible okay your name will live on throughout the generations they will remember you okay because you took the time to create wealth for your name for your family for your people and leave a legacy so that we can live the life through our family through our children right so it's not all about us not just about you right it's about your offspring and the people around you the younger ones raising them up to avoid all the mistakes you made so that they can live an even more prosperous generous lifestyle okay so to answer that question right what to do when we become debt free is we need to visit the manufacturer okay who is the manufacturer the one that created you okay that's the only person thing that's gonna let you know what your next move is okay so if you're transitioning from jobs or career or you know your your goal is Denzel I want to become debt free increase my cash flow to this amount so I can leave that job so I can invest in my business okay well first I want to make sure that you visit the manufacturer right have a little session with God get your belief system in line because that will de de that will determine the amount of money that you make okay and how you live your life it's based on your belief system from your manufacturer okay now to solve your belief system to make sure it's in line is we have to look at the source of your philosophy right your way of thinking we have to tap into that so I've been doing a little research on my own trying to figure this thing out right trying to get to the core where it's at and figure out okay what's the source of my philosophy why do I think the way that I think and is it a hindrance is it a delay to my success based on my belief system so the way we figure that out okay is I kind of wrote down a little step-by-step -step scenario here is first all of us have a precept which is your original idea it's the idea or the thought before you thought something which gave that thought life which is your manifestation your act your your actions okay so precept original idea okay once you have that original idea that produces the idea we have this concept that comes into place your concept is what comes together con right comes together your ideas come together which give you your concept right which then leads us to your main idea okay which then leads us to an ideology which is the belief of the idea of the concept of the original idea okay which is going to lead us to our philosophy right so our ideology is this believed thought you believe 
that you can become debt free by doing velocity banking. You believe that because of the original thoughts in your mind, watching this channel, interacting with me, with others, doing the math, right? You have this believed thought, okay? Now, once you get past this, we have an interesting phase here, okay? Your theology, okay? Which is basically the study of God, right? Theo, theo means God, right? And then ology is just to know or to, to study the subject of something, someone, right? So theology is basically the nature of of God, the study of God, which has a lot to do with the way you believe certain things. So if there is a huge correlation between this guy, right, money, and your belief system, okay? So I'm breaking it down, right? After we get past our theology, we go into your mentality on how and what to do when you become debt free. Okay, that's your way of thinking, which then leads to your attitude, your, behave, your behavior, how you react to this channel, how you comment, how you reach out to me, how you contribute, different levels, your commitment, right? Your belief system, okay? So all of this forms your philosophy, which leads to your belief system which determines the money the finances okay so I'm gonna give you my belief system according to money which you already know velocity banking is the core right to pay off debts and become debt free and then after we've conquered that we want to focus on what I believe to be true is the three main financial concepts that have never failed which are insurance banking real estate okay insurance I'm talking about life insurance as an asset banking I'm talking about velocity banking okay using debt weapons to pay off debts to make investments okay to to accelerate cash flow accelerate capital get us to the stage that we want to be at in a very short period of time real estate to me is intellectual property or actually physical land okay so real estate intellectually could be your business could be your your thoughts your philosophy your way of thinking or it could be actual physical land like real estate investing acquiring land duplexes rentals a property okay very important to have this what's nice about these three concepts is we get rid of this word completely disappears risk there should be no risk in your personal finances you should understand where every dollar goes you should understand your interest rates your dividends, your, your rate of return. You should know all that. You should not be hoping and praying for a ROI. You should be guaranteeing yourself an ROI, okay? And what I believe to be true is with these three assets, I can guarantee myself debt freedom, okay? Debt free. I can guarantee myself that with the velocity banking strategy in a very short period of time, based on math alone my belief system will accelerate that process even faster but math alone can give me that life insurance okay that's an asset it's a guarantee i'm gonna get provided not only with a death benefit that's a automatic legacy creation for the family but i have the ability to grow money tax-free Okay, and I have access to the money anytime. Guarantee, right? So I cut out risk again. And then real estate, it's very simple. You buy land, 
You sit on it, you wait, you think about it, no matter what, this don't lose value. This won't ever go to zero. Land will never go to zero. How can it go to zero? It's land. Someone's gonna want it. Someone's gonna wanna build on it. Someone's gonna wanna do something with it. If you're part of the equation, boom, we're happy, we're satisfied, okay? So real estate, that cuts out the risk, man. You just gotta decide what game do you wanna be a part of? What game do you wanna play? Do you wanna play the buy and hold game where you just you just buy land? All right, that's my, that's my goal. I just wanna buy vacant land all across the United States, okay? Piece of land in all 50 states, okay? And I just wanna sit on it and wait. I'm gonna sit on it for 10 years. I'm gonna buy the thing outright, just own it, right? Write it off, taxes, get the money right back. And I'm gonna make connections with people like you who have experience in real estate, investing in rentals and um, communities and shopping plazas, right? And just, I'm gonna make these connections with real estate developers and real estate agents and attorneys and lawyers. And I'm gonna say, listen, I have this land, okay? Do what you want. You wanna build on it? Go right. You wanna build a shopping plaza? You wanna, you wanna, you wanna build a highway right through my land? Or you know, you wanna, you wanna build a um, a warehouse? Whatever you wanna do, build on it. Just pay me rent. Pay me, pay me a a, a residual income, okay? I'm never gonna sell the land, never. I'm just gonna own it. You can build whatever you want, all right? And I'll give you. A, a huge discount, I'll just let you build, I won't even charge you. Just give me a residual. That's all I want, it's residual income, passive income. That's all I care about, just give me the passive income. And I funnel the money through my belief system, which is my philosophy, which is tied to my manufacturer, who's gonna tell me what to do with the money and who to serve and who to impact on this channel, you, right? And then we come over to here. Right? With these three concepts, right? We come over here. We're debt free. Okay? Right? Let's assume we're all debt free. Right? And we can focus on wealth, legacy. Right? The wealth part are the three main things, right? Velocity banking. Acquire a policy or policies. Right? One on you, one on wife one on all the kids, right? You could pretty much start your all, all college savings plans all tax-free, never have to worry, right? And if the kid is radical like me, doesn't wanna go to college, that's fine. We can use the money to start his, his or her entrepreneurship business, right? Or to start their product that they wanna create or invent. Not bad. It's safe, it's liquid, tax-free growth. And then the last part, real estate investing, okay? Again, cutting out this word right here. I don't know why every, almost every financial advisor always talks about this. Oh, what's your risk? What's your risk? Are you uh, conservative? Are you aggressive? Are you moderate? You know, what, 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 what do I need risk for? Get risk. Why do I need to risk my money when I can guarantee wealth? And then if I want to play, right, I can play. I can throw money into crypto. I can throw money into stocks. I can throw money into a company I have no idea about, you know, Apple and Amazon. I can just throw money here, 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 right? I'm not, I don't have to worry about risk. Get risk, right? Get out of here with that, okay? legacy that's establishing the estate the trust the will tax-free assets a sustainable business that will outlast you and your family no matter what happens okay a sustainable business that you don't have to do anything you have employees you have a business model you have a system it's automated you just get paid dividends 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 passive income 
over and over again. Never have to worry about a thing. So, hope this helps. I really do. My name is Denzel. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take this knowledge. Really feed yourself on a daily basis with your personal finances. Visit the manufacturer, okay? Especially if you're 40, 50, 60 years old and you're still trying to figure out the money thing. Come on. Come on. Let's... Let, 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 50 years old, you've been on this earth for 50 years or 60 years and you're still battling this guy right here, Mammon. You're still battling with that. Don't think tithing's gonna save you, okay? No. Don't think, uh, um, you know, doing, doing debt snowball or all these crazy methods or, or managing risk is gonna save you. No. Guarantee yourself. Okay, visit the manufacturer, analyze your belief system, go through this process right here, the source of your philosophy, get these three financial concepts that have never failed, get this going, and let's have a wonderful time, alright, enjoy the rest of your day, talk to you soon.